Hey everybody, uh, what we're going to be looking at in this video is the fourth type of differential equation that's typically covered in BC calculus, and that is Newton's law of heating or cooling. Uh, and what that is, it states that the rate of change of the temperature of an object is proportional to the difference between the object's temperature and some fixed constant B, meaning the temperature of the room. So imagine that you pop a frozen pizza into the oven and you cook it until it has a, an internal temperature of 165 degrees. That would be the object's uh, temperature at that particular time. And you would subtract that by whatever the temperature of your room is, when maybe it's 75 or whatever temperature you happen to have set on your thermostat at home. And so we have the differential equation here. Do you, whoops, I have no idea why. That wanted to do that, so let's see if we can fix it. So we have the differential equation here, dy dt is equal to k, uh, the constant of proportionality times that difference of the internal uh, of the temperature of the object minus the temperature of the room. And when we have the equation that we can use to solve for time or uh, anything like that, that this is the general solution where we have y is equal to. Uh, a times e to the kt power plus b, where a is just the difference of the initial temperature and the temperature of the room. And so let's take a look at uh, our first example here. Uh, you bought your favorite frozen treat on your way to school uh, at Starbeams through the drive through Your car is always kept at a constant 65 degree uh, Fahrenheit, so that is the in temperature of the environment. Uh, traffic was terrible. It took you 10 minutes. Uh, I would say instead of getting out of school, because I've heard the problem, it took you 10 minutes uh, maybe to uh, kind of get out of the parking lot maybe. I don't know. Um, by then, because you happen to have a temperature probe handy, you have, uh, your drink has warmed to 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which is still fairly chilly because you checked it with your temperature probe at the red light. Uh, now, as you're getting closer to school, there was an accident, and it takes you 10 more minutes to actually get into the school parking lot, which when you're there, now your drink has warmed significantly to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So use Newton's law of cooling to estimate the original temperature of the frozen coffee. So it seems like a pretty simple question, but there's going to be a fair amount of work involved in it because they're not really uh, giving us a ton to go on. We can't just start off with a general solution uh, or a general equation for the function and then plug in some numbers and be, call it a day. We have to come up with that equation ourselves and then uh, solve for the original temperature. So what do we know? Uh, in the beginning, we know that we have, based on what we have in the problem, we're going to have a differential equation that says dy dt is equal to k times y minus 65 in this case, because that's the external temperature, uh, or that's the temperature of your car, that's the controlled environment. And we're going to take this and we're going to solve it, uh, solve the differential equation. Uh, for its general solution by using uh, separable variables here. So I'm going to divide both sides by y minus 65 or multiply by the reciprocal, y minus 65. So I get y minus 65, 1 over y minus 65 times dy on the left side of the equal sign to be equal to k times dt on the right side. And this is where what you've seen previously with separable differential equations, we're going to uh, take the integration of both sides, uh, the antiderivative of both sides, and see what we wind up with. So on the left side, we don't have to do any kind of partial fraction decomposition here because the denominator is not uh, particularly troublesome. So when I take the antiderivative of this, I'm going to get the natural log of y minus 65 to be equal to uh, k times time plus a constant. Okay, so y in this, in this case is the variable that we're trying to solve. We're trying to get uh, the temperature of our 
of our drink here. So if you'd like to, you can kind of put uh, maybe why you can put like a capital T there to say that's temperature over time. Uh, and, and let's go ahead and do that, I guess, just to kind of keep things consistent. Uh, so in this case, we want to uh, solve for the capital T for the uh, temperature of the drink. And uh, because it's inside of the logarithm, we have to kind of uh, get it out with our log loop or uh, exponentiate the, the function, so to speak. So I'm going to e time e to the kt uh, plus c power, kt plus c power is equal to uh, capital T minus 65. Okay. Uh, on the left side of the equal sign, we're going to use properties of exponents, and that'll give us uh, e to the kt power times e to the c power to be equal to t minus t. So used to doing that little loop there. At the end, I'm not paying attention. t minus 65. And again, like what we've seen in previous lessons, this is just a constant. And the constant in this particular equation is referred to as a, an a value, not c. So we'll say a times e to the kt power would be equal to t minus 65. And so when we move the 65 over, we're going to get a times e to the kt power plus 65 to be equal to the temperature over some time. And that is what we would kind of look at as the general solution of the problem. Now, unfortunately, that is not answering the question. What we're asked is, what is the coffee's original temperature? So now we're going to move on and we're going to try something else. So the second thing that we're going to do is I need to be able to find K. Find, oops. Is write my D. Find find K. Okay. Actually, there's two things that we have to find. We have to be able to find the value of A, and we have to be able to find the value of K in order to actually be able to use that equation. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and find K first because we need that uh, to be able to find A. Now, we know a couple of things. Okay. We know that at 10 minutes, the temperature of the drink was 35 degrees Fahrenheit. And we know at 20 minutes, the temperature of the drink was 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, taking what we know in, into account, we can uh, essentially write a system of equations in order to be able to solve for uh, solve for k in this case. So let me go ahead and go to a different color so we can kind of show what we're doing. So I'm going to take what I know. Uh, I have a times e, and we know that at 10 minutes, so we'll say 10k, that it was equal to uh, 35 degrees minus 35 degrees minus the temperature of the car, 65 degrees. And we know that at 20 minutes, so A times Z to the 20K power, that it was 50 degrees minus the 65 degrees of the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of look at these as a ratio uh, where I'm going to say A times E to the 10k power, uh, and we'll simplify the right side, so 35 minus 65 will give me a negative 30. And we're going to look at it as a ratio with the other uh, expression, so a times e to the 20k power to be equal to a negative 15. And now we're going to just start simplifying. So here, the a's, a over a simplifies to be 1 a to the 10k power divided by a to the 20k power will give me, uh, I'm sorry, e, e to the negative 10k power, 10k. 
and on the right side of the equal sign, negative 30 divided by negative 15 gives me a positive 2. So now we can kind of work with the exponential equation that we have here to finish solving for k. So I'm going to turn it into a logarithm. So I'll get natural log of 2 to be equal to negative 10k. So we'll say uh, the natural log of 2 divided by negative 10 is equal to k. And that's not going to be a nice number, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of stop with it there uh, and see what we wind up with. Uh, but now I found the k value, so now let's find the uh, value of a. So this is going to be the third thing that we'll do, find a. Okay, and this one's not going to be particularly uh, difficult. We know that in this case, uh, let's see. Uh, well, if we knew the initial temperature, that would be really easy to do, but we don't know the initial temperature. So uh, we're going to have to do a little bit more work on this one. Uh, we have to take one of the equations kind of that we have here that I, that I have in green. We have to look at these two equations and we have to pick one of these to kind of work with to find a uh, and I think I'm going to look at the first one simply because the numbers are overall smaller okay so we know that uh, in this case oh, we know that we have a an equation the temperature over time in this case is going to be equal to a times e and in this case, we know the k value. In this case, it's going to be the negative natural log of 2 over 10 times time. Okay. Uh, plus, uh, what was it, 65, the temperature of the car. So now we can kind of look at this and see what are we going to wind up getting here. We know that... Uh, after 10 minutes, the temperature had risen to 35 degrees, and so we have A times E, and in this case, I'm going to say negative natural log of 2 divided by 10, and you can just save that, that number in your calculator, and it'll make it real easy, times the 10 minutes plus 65. All right, so simplifying here, now we're going to say that, let's pick some color here. So this 10 and this 10 kind of simplify, and so that will give, I want to pause something real quick and check it, just give me one second. Sorry to pause. Uh, hopefully, they didn't throw you off uh, here, but let's go ahead and continue working the problem out. Uh, so the the 10 in the numerator and the 10 in the denominator, those are going to simplify. And the 65 that's on the right side, we can move that over to the left side. So we're going to wind up with, let me go back to my kind of purple color here. So 65 minus, or 35 minus 65 will give me negative 30 to be equal to A times e to the negative natural log of 2. And we are going to use a little bit of uh, math here, a little bit of properties of, of uh, exponents, just to clarify. It's not strictly necessary, um, but I think it's definitely going to help uh, to solve the problem here. Uh, oops. Uh, at this point here, if you want to, you can just kind of divide you don't need to actually do any properties of logarithms here. And you can say negative 30 divided by e to the negative natural log of 2 to be equal to a. And your calculator should be able to do the properties of logarithms for you. Uh, and that's you should be using a calculator here for it. And I didn't do this originally, so I'm going to just type it on my calculator here just to make sure. Uh, divided by, oops, I hit the wrong button. hitting the wrong button. 
negative or we have e to the negative metrolog 2 and yes it does match what I did earlier so we get negative 60 for a and so now the last thing that we're going to do this is all this work has been to find the uh, initial temperature of the drink and let's go ahead and see what we get here so let's go back to a different color all right so the last thing that we're going to do the fourth thing is our final thing find p of zero find the initial temperature okay so here we're going to say t of zero is equal to the negative 64 a times e to the uh, negative natural log natural log not h natural log of why aren't you wanting to write give me my pen natural log of 2 over 10 and times 0 in this case uh, minus 65 and all of the oops and I'm running out of space here minus 65 so all of this because we're we have that 0 in the exponent all of this just simplifies to be uh, a 1 so negative 60 uh, plus 65 plus 65 says that the initial temperature of the drink was 5 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's how we're using what we know about calculus to solve a differential equation to get its general solution and then uh, use some information to get its specific solution. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this particular video up. But there is one more part that we're going to take a look at. Uh, we'll finish the, the rest of the example in a separate video. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching and take care.